Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session, we will learn how to sync Windows Form events from native C++ class. And this video continues from our previous video, how hosting C++ CL, CLI window, Win Form control in MFC dialog box using C Win Form controls. If you haven't watched this video, please watch it. This session continues from our from this video. Download the source code by clicking this link. When download is complete, then show in folder. Here, please unzip it. Then rename the solution like this. With events. Then copy the this file, this folder, to your working folder. Then open it in Visual C++, Visual Studio. Please note that I am using Visual Studio 2015, update 3. Now open the solution. CLI WinForm MFC with the events solution. When solution is loaded, press Ctrl F5 to build and run. Okay, this is the state we created in our previous session. We'll add event handler now. And CLI TPF, talk play button, click header file. Click my name control. Double click it. Click OK button. Click OK button. Double click it. Then event handler will be added. Now copy this code. Copy this code. And in class view, C plus CLR win form here. Select my name dialog. DLG, double click it and paste it here like this we can do we can fix like this no we'll change like this and we can change the name of the function on button ok click like this. Save it. Here we will add begin delegate map. We have to put this class name here. Enter and Delegate map like this event delegate entry then copy this code copy then paste it here, like this. Then change like this. Now save it. Copy this code again. Copy. Then click on initial on INIT dialog box here, paste. Then change it like this. Instead of system void, we can simply put void. Just void, save it. Also in here, instead of system void, we can just put void. 
like this. Now add here AFX message box. OK. Click. Save. Now I will change it like this. This update the data. True. Then uh, C string MSG. OK. Click. Name. Like this. Then MSG. This M SDR name. Then here MSG save. Now we have to register this uh, event event. To do that here on I here on INIT dialog box app the dialog box on INIT here. CLI talk play fun head H control this and my name control get control here H control get my get button sorry get ok sorry we need to leave this class we have the defined ok button here double click it Then here, we will copy a button, copy this button, copy, then scroll down here, probably change it to get button OK like this this should be this return this button OK save it we have to rebuild it rebuild this control right click Project only, build only CLI this button. Now come come to here again. My name's here. Get button. Okay. It should be click. Then make delegate it should be system event handler on button ok click now save it now control F5 now click my button Click OK. Now it should run properly. Change, try another name. OK, it works. Now we will add another event handler. Click my name control here once again. Here. Properties. Make sure, make sure OK button is still selected. Event. Now we don't need 
button ok click event right click reset save now click text box control properties event once again scroll down text changes double click it save it now copy this code please note that this this hasn't deleted okay we deleted the event but this hasn't deleted so we have to manually delete it here we copy this text copy this text then in here my name dlg dot h paste it here like this then change it to void And also we can change the name on my name text box text change it like this then copy the copy the text then here event delegate entry then paste like this then fix your code like this you should look like this save your code like this then copy this text once again my name DLGCPP here. Paste. Copy this text. And we change it. Text change it to. Now save it. Uh, we also have to register H control get my name text box text change it then make daily Eight. Then system event handler on my name. Sorry. On my name text box change like this. Now save it. Save it. Save it once again. Now Control F five. There is an error. We will fix it. We have to remove this. Now save. Control F5 once again. Now click my name. Here, each time I change text in text box, the event handler it captures. Okay, this way we can catch event handler. Now close it. Since we registered the event, we, we have to remove them.
I, we have to remove them with, when dialog box closed. In class view again, my name, the, my name DLG, properties, this button, message button, WM destroy, WM destroy, on destroy. Here, now copy from this text. And before destroying dialog box, paste it here. Now we can delete or remove our event handler registered. We are unregistering event handler. This way we can unregister. Now close all. In Solution Explorer, once again, right click. Uh, double click it. Double click my name control once again. Click it. Properties. Scroll down. Here, event. Now right click. Reset. Save it. Now right click. Right click the, the control here. Then view code. Scroll down. In case of C++, we have to manually... Oh, event handler is removed. Okay. Now, close all. Finally, Control F5 once again. Now, my name. And everything should work properly. Okay. Uh, in this session, we learned how to add event handler to uh, CLR uh, wind form control from our MFC application. Please subscribe to my channel. I will post lots of cool, useful videos about C++ and .NET, uh, .NET uh, programming uh, technique. Thank you for watching.